guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Monday, it's the beginning of a new week, second week of school. Still so weird getting into the routine of school. Ellie's like, it's not weird, Laura, let's just go. Let's just go outside. Do you wanna go? Do you wanna go outside? Are we gonna go? <laughs> That's how she says yes. <laughs> we all get up super early in the morning with Gabby. It gives us time to do more things inside that we want to do before the day. So if he made eggs today, so these eggs will last us all week. But look at how gorgeous they are. They're all hard boiled. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked because Sophie cooked them. Different variations of browns and beiges. This is a beige one. It's a silky one. Yeah, this is a silky egg. Anyways, I'll make egg salad. Sophie will eat hers peeled and we'll put them in some recipes for this week, but who doesn't love a bowl of fresh eggs from your own farm? Are we ready? I need to refresh my hair. Typically we do chores at 8 a.m. I've got the laundry done. Ellie, sit. Let's see if Ellie will show you guys that she still knows her tricks. All right, so let's see if Ellie remembers her Ellie. tricks that we taught her. We haven't done this for a long Ellie. time. Sit, talk. <laughs> she kind of maybe anticipates a little. Let's see. <laughs> Do that again. Ellie. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, make her lay down. All the dogs are like, I want to turn. Look at, at Molly's yeah. hair. That's her summer hair. I, I dropped hate a tree it. on the couch and I said, ooh, and Mo I, Molly tried to get it and then she stopped when I said, ooh. I oh, know, she's, she's such a good what? girl. She's just like her owner. All right, sit. Down. <laughs> <laughs> See if she can roll over. <laughs> She's a little extra versed. Ellie, roll over. <laughs> Here. You gotta sit in the middle. Sit. Down. Roll over. Ellie, roll over. Roll over. No. She forgets Down. that one. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> Her nose roll is over. like stuck to the treat. Sit. She's going through all the sit. things that she sit. knows. Sit. Yeah, that's a hard one from her. She never goes from laying down to sit. I've been trying to work on that one. I should show them Daisy's tricks. All right, show them Daisy's tricks. But you know what? I should show them all the dog's tricks. But, I mean, that's all we ever do is show you guys the dog's tricks. Mm. But the weird thing about Ellie is watching her do her tricks gets to really show you her personality. <laughs> she, ha, you're caught. Wait, how did that happen? The dogs are all going to follow her. And then watch Ellie's the terrier in the group. You can tell. You'll be able to Molly, see go. in a minute. You'll have your ah! see. She if she doesn't get her way, she barks. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ellie's turn. Sit. Ah! Ah! Go. Sit. Sit. Molly. Ah! Go. Go. <laughs> go. go. So. This is the problem when you have four dogs and you train them all at the same time. Good girl. And to be fair, none of us ever train Molly. Like, when have we ever trained Molly? Like, we never get a chance to train Molly. Yeah. No. Ellie's like, fine, I'll get it up for myself. Look at Molly in the background. Ruby, lay down. Ruby, down. No. <laughs> when you train dogs and everybody's there, all the dogs are there, it makes the other dogs not able to focus as much because they are afraid they aren't going to get their treat. She's so vicious. <laughs> She's a bit aggressive. She's a bit aggressive in the whole scheme of things. All right, you're done. All right, you're done. Sophie made treats last night, so... A lot of them. Yeah. I have a whole big jar. So now we need to treat train the goats. Do you think we could train the goats? I don't have goat treats. Oh, we have grain. They'll do anything for grain. <laughs> Just checking, see if it's all still there. Well, hello, Benny Bickle. Maybe we'll go for a ride today. I know. Yeah, they are jumpy. I don't know if it's like, oh, I need to give her a brush. You need a brush, Missy. I was like, can I find you too? Okay, everybody be quiet for a second and listen. Yes, 
Yeah, Chino's the, the noisiest eater. I love that sound though. Everyone waits for storm in the morning. There he Here he comes. That's his favorite part. I know, he loves to run out. Penny's like, stop bothering me. And then of course, Honey has to run. She's so lazy though. The slow walk to the food. And there goes Gracie. Nothing lazy about Gracie. All right, so look. So this is a room that we used to soak Chino's hay every day. And we have little tiny mushrooms growing in here. Isn't that crazy? Oh, <laughs> let's go. He does seem happy. He seems good. So ever since he had those beans, remember he had those beans? He kind of seemed like he had, he stalled in his recovery. He only has a couple weeks left of his drugs. I need his halter. Actually, maybe, yeah. So, so we probably have about two and a half, maybe three weeks left of drugs. And I want him to be super healthy by the time that happens. But he did seem like a little bit more down when he had those beans and for a couple of days after. So he's definitely looking better today. And yesterday. <laughs> he's like, I hate these drugs. <laughs> so when he throws a fit, it's always a good sign. So every morning Sam throws hay on the ground for Chino and I noticed that a lot of it gets left you see because obviously they make it dirty um, I like it because he can share they the goats come up here and eat with them but if he if we use this bucket 99% of it gets eaten like it's shocking how much this bucket saves hay it's also shocking how much they poo someone near us has peacocks and I heard them screeching this morning and the screeching made me so nervous like All right, you're evicted out you go Ellie back up Come on, let's go We always have problems with the dogs when we do chores every single morning. Come on out So we're really careful about who we pick to bring with us where we go. So Ellie, I pretty much take everywhere with me because she listens so well. And the biggest thing that she does that makes life easier for us is that she watches me and makes sure <laughs> that I'm in her sight so I don't ever have to worry about her. Also, <laughs> don't chase the goose. Also, oh, you got dirty last night. These guys never get dirty. Come on, let's go. Molly, Ellie, get. So the other dog that does that is Molly. You can tell Molly something and she listens. And that really works. Like, so when we bring the dogs, we like to choose ones that we don't have to worry about when we're trying to worry about other things. Ruby is that fun, loving, friendly, happy dog that doesn't really pay attention to anything. Even though I love her being out with us, She's really hard because we have to watch her every second to make sure she's with us and she's not getting into trouble. Get out there. Go. Go. Get. And the other thing that Ruby does that makes chores difficult, Ruby chases the animals too. Ellie chases the animals too, but I can tell her to stop and she stops. Ruby chases the animals and I tell her to stop and she stops, but she only stops for one second and then she chases them again. And she's just having fun and she's not trying to hurt anybody. It's hard to get everybody where they need to be each day when I'm trying to get the dogs out of the way of all the animals. So Ruby doesn't come every time we do chores. She's out here a lot. But when we're serious about getting stuff done, she doesn't come. I actually get asked that a lot. Why don't we take each animal with us when we go places? So each animal comes with us at different places, different times. Plus they're out in the backyard a lot. It's just like when we're going through the farmyard that we choose who we want to bring. So we invite Daisy to come with us everywhere we go, but she always says no because being deaf, she actually doesn't enjoy going places that she doesn't feel comfortable or that she's not familiar with. Or when there's a lot of animals around and a lot of stuff happening, it's difficult 
for her to watch everything at the same time so she doesn't like to put herself in positions like that so she likes the backyard she likes only certain things and she gets to run a lot in the backyard with us she spends a lot of time in the backyard with Sophie but she doesn't like to come past the barn she has her own cutoffs and we respect those because we don't know what it's like to be deaf, but I can imagine how difficult it would be watching to keep yourself safe when there's animals everywhere. So today we have Ellie, Molly, and Ruby. <laughs> oh. Cat prints? Dog prints. Dog prints? Your dog. Yeah. For cleaning out our goat stall, I find this shovel works the best for me because little rakes don't pick up goat poop. I guess what it is, is that some dogs take the time to learn, some dogs learn our routine and kind of are ahead of us, while other dogs have no clue. <laughs> like Ruby, Ruby is the kind of dog that gets locked in barns because I leave. Later, we're like, where the heck is Ruby? That is done, three stalls. Done. Oh, fun fact, this light doesn't actually do anything. Oh. It's for the outside. Oh, I just throw them all on. Yeah, see, watch. We'll go outside. All the dogs will be here with us. Ellie's out here. Molly, Ruby, Molly's out here. I could close the door. Make lots of noise. Close the door. Ruby! Oh. Ruby! The other dogs always watch us and always come and are ready to go before we're That's even ready to go. <laughs> Mom, watch out, there's a goat behind you. Why do you like me? I have a challenge for Sophie. We're gonna go to the middle of the barn. We're gonna go over where the goat goose and the duck stall is, and we're gonna stand there. I'm gonna count to three, and we're gonna see whoever gets to where Ruby is standing first, okay? No, we're gonna go back in the barn and we're going to... That barn? No, inside that barn and we're gonna go down in the basement and we're gonna see who makes it back here first, okay? All right, so this is a race to see who can get to the front of the barn first. Then we're gonna see. I hate her. Oh, Sophie's coming first. No, I'm not. Uh oh. Laura's first. I won! But she didn't close the gate. Quick, Sophie, you could win. You could I win, so. Win. You could win. I found a secret passage from the bottom of the barn out here uh, the other day, and I've noticed that it's been way faster, and I love it. That will be perfect. Look, for playing hide and go seek and playing hide and go seek is nothing something we haven't done yet on this farm and it's something I really want to do one thing I've noticed about the goats is that they love to take down ropes all right let's go school time don't you know that you're beautiful